Prior to Thursday's game, by posting a link on his Twitter feed, Kyrie endorsed what many people feel is a reprehensible and dangerous film. In a report about the tweet yesterday, Rolling Stone magazine described the movie and the book it is based on to be stuffed with anti-Semitic tropes. The Nets organization released a statement on the matter, saying that it strongly condemns and has no tolerance for the promotion of any form of hate speech. Team Governor Joe Tsai tweeted his thoughts on the situation late Friday evening, and he said, we're quoting, I'm disappointed that Kyrie appears to support a film based on a book full of anti-Semitic disinformation. I want to sit down and make sure he understands this is hurtful to all of us. And as a man of faith, it is wrong to promote hate based on race, ethnicity, or religion. This is bigger than basketball. End quote. Today, Kyrie followed up tweeting the following, and we're quoting again, I am an omnist, and I meant no disrespect to anyone's religious beliefs. The anti-Semitic label that is being pushed on me is not justified and does not reflect the reality or truth I live in every day. I embrace and want to learn from all walks of life and religions, end quote. During his pregame media session, Steve Nash was asked if there had been any further developments. I don't have an update other than, you know, I know Kyrie made a statement. I know that the organization made a statement. Um, the organization has spoken to Kyrie about it. Um, we, you know, clearly I think we all, you know, represent the values of a inclusiveness and equality and, and condemn hate speech. I'm not familiar with the material that Kyrie was promoting. So, you know, it's really something that I, I'm not too uh, versed on it, but uh, just as a, a generality, we, we believe in equality. And, and I think our organization has stood for that for a long, long time and has backed that up. So when you get a chance to talk to Kyrie, I'm sure he'll be able to explain his perspective. We saw Kyrie, obviously, this morning shooting around, seemed the same, uh, just making sure he is both available and good to go as would be expected. He's not, yeah, he's, he's not he's suspended or he's not, his minutes to, aren't cut or anything like ready that. Ready to go. Steve, following up on Kyrie stuff, how much of a distraction is it all for the group? You know, I, I, I don't. You know, I, I I don't think our group is is overly affected by the situation. We we've had so many situations over the last two and a half years that, it, you know, I think we've kind of built an immunity to some of it. And you know, I also think our guys aren't that familiar with with the material. So. Um, you know, if we get a minute to breathe and can get a deeper understanding of what, you know, what, what the, what, it, what actually are the details here, then, then we will. But right now, I think guys are trying to focus on the game. I think the organization has stepped up and made a strong statement on their beliefs, and uh, you'll be able to hear from Kyrie when it's his turn to talk. And you said he spoke to the organization. Did he spoke? Did he speak to Joe yet? Uh, I'm not going to give details of who he spoke to or what that conversation was. That's an organizational thing, and. You know, it's just uh, a part of the process of dealing with these things. Have you been in contact with the league about Kyrie? And as far as you know, is the suspension on the table? I have no idea. And this, just a few minutes before our show began, the NBA released this statement. We're quoting again. Hate speech of any kind is unacceptable and runs counter to the NBA's values of equality, inclusion, and respect. We believe we all have a role to play in ensuring such words or ideas, including anti-Semitic ones, are challenged and refuted. And we will continue working with all members of the NBA community to ensure that everyone understands the impact of their words and actions. Close. Well, these are serious matters. Kyrie commented further but did not use the word apologize in his response for endorsing the film, which, as we said before, is considered by many people to promote reprehensible and dangerous ideas. And Rebecca, you're here with us. I want to get your thoughts. Well, it's disappointing and it's dangerous to spread hate when you have the kind of platform that Kyrie has. He has four and a half million followers on Twitter alone and he's yet to take that particular tweet down. And one of the things that's made me so proud to be associated with the WNBA the past couple of years, and this extends to NBA players as well, is that they've been on the forefront of social justice issues and advocating for what is right. And this is the opposite of that. So it's disappointing and it's dangerous.